a class, so I'm doing problem seven. It states, in the picture below, a bug is landed on the rim of a jelly jar and is moving around the rim. The location where the bug initially lands is described and its angular speed is given. Impose a coordinate system with the origin at the center of the circle of motion. In each case, answer each of these questions. So it gives us these three diagrams and then asks us to find the angle of the starting position, essentially, and then give the um, location of the bug at time t using a formula. And then it wants us to find the coordinates of t, or find the coordinates of the bug at time t, and it wants us to use 0, 1, 3, and 22 seconds for t, and then find the coordinates of those. So for the first problem, we have it starting at 1.2 radians um, with a radius of 2. Actually, for all three problems, it's going to have a radius of 2. And for all three problems, it's going to have an angular speed of 4 pi over 9 radians per second. So for the first part, what we want to do is find this angle. We already know it's 1.2 radians. Um, and given the angular speed and the radius that we just covered, um, we know that it's going to start here. And so we can say that the initial point is um, negative 0.72 and 1.86. How do we find that? We figure that it's going to start here, and we create a right triangle. And then, um, which you can see right here, here's our radius of 2 as the hypotenuse. And then with our 1.2 radian angle, we plug that into our calculator using 2 sine of theta for x or for y excuse me and for two co and two cosine of one of theta for x and um the reason why we're doing that is well we can think of this in one of two ways we can either think we're going to complete the triangle by doing um the sine of uh opposite over hypotenuse or sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse and then solve for theta and if you um, isolate theta, then you get 2 sine of 1.2. Um, same for cosine, except for using the adjacent and hypotenuse. Or you can uh, understand that sine is going to give you an x value of a coordinate on the unit circle, and then cosine is going to give you the, um, or sorry, sine is y, x is cosine. Um, and then since it, we have a radius of 2 rather than 1, like we would on the unit circle, we multiply uh cosine of theta times times two so once we get that we figure our formula is um theta of t or theta sub t of t is going to be equal to 1.2 this is radians um originally i did it in degrees but then um decided i was not going to convert to degrees i was just going to set my calculator to radians and then we get 1.2 is the starting position plus is angular speed times time that's going to give us how far it's traveled since its starting position. And um, our coordinates are going to be 2 cosine theta and 2 sine theta like we discussed. We plug in 0, 1, 2, and 3 for t. And we get negative 0 0.72, 1.86 for t equals 0. And um, I won't read off the answers for you because it's kind of a lot. But uh, the other coordinates are listed here. For part B, we have to do the same thing, except um, this time instead of it giving us a starting position of 1.2 radians, it just tells us the starting position is at this point right here. We can see that it's on the y-axis, and since we have a radius of 2, we know that it starts at negative 2, 0. And we use the same formula, except for now the starting position is 1.2, um, and the angular speed is the same, this part stays the same. We plug in our 0, 1, 3, and 22 for t, and we get these answers right here. For part c, or diagram c, we know that the starting position is 0.5 degrees, or 0.5 radians from the y-axis. So what I did was figure out how many degrees this was by using a conversion over here. I did 0.5 over 2 pi is equal to x degrees over 360 degrees. Solved for x, and I knew that this angle is 28.6 degrees. I did 180 minus 28.6, and was able to figure out that this angle was 
Then I converted 4 pi over 9 into degrees, and I got the angular speed of um, 80, and used the same formula, just now in degrees, and with 151.4 as the starting speed. Also, what's unique about this problem um, from the others is that now the bug is traveling in this direction. So what we have to do is, um, I actually wrote this, wrote this down wrong, this has to be minus 80 degrees for every second, starting at 1.4, and we get these answers here. And that should be it. Thanks.